Hi everyone, Rob Kachivara here. I'm back from my trip to the East Coast, uh, to Washington DC and to Yale University, uh, talking to people about Okinawa. And uh, the trip went very well, or at least from, from a work perspective, uh, it went very well. From a travel perspective, that's a different story and I'll get to that later. So first I went to Washington DC where a couple members of my team and I uh, met with uh, the offices or the staff, the advisors of uh, quite a few members of Congress. Um, it was individual members, it wasn't all one meeting, it was we met with them uh, individually. Um, so yes, uh, well we specifically uh, only wanted a couple members of my team. So three people total. We didn't want to go any more than that uh, because it, the offices can only hold so many people. You know what I mean? So well, we, we figured three is a good number. And we purposely wanted to meet with um, the advisors or specifically the, the foreign affairs advisors or the uh, military advisors uh, for the members of Congress. Um, we purposely wanted to meet with them um, actually not not the members of Congress themselves who wanted to meet with their advisors uh, on this trip so we went around Capitol Hill and we met with a lot of them um, so that went very well we had very nice um, uh, discussions with many of the offices um, a lot of them showed well it seemed to be sincere interest in Okinawa and what's going on there um, unfortunately, none of them have come out to publicly support Okinawa yet. But um, at least uh, the meetings went well. Just a few of the ones who who showed interest in Okinawa um, were, um, for example, uh, Maisie Hirono, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, Brian Schatz, um, Ro Kana, Tim Kaine, Tim Ryan, Diana Titus. Uh, Mac Thornberry, um, yeah, those were some, uh, just some of them. Some some of the ones who who uh, showed interest. So hope well, my team and I we're gonna continue discussions with them, and hopefully um, we get some results sooner rather than later. And a lot of them also had good feedback and suggestions for us, so uh, th that was very helpful and um, appreciated. And so after Washington DC, I went up to Connecticut, to New Haven, Connecticut, uh, where I was invited to speak at Yale University to the um, Asian American, at the Asian American Culture Center, uh, to the uh, Japanese American Students Union. Uh, so first they showed um, a, a movie um, explaining about the situation at Hinoko. Um, and then I, I spoke uh, with the students and uh, they got to uh, ask questions and you know, we had a question and answer time it went very well uh, the students were great they asked a lot of very good questions um, they were very engaging and I really enjoyed spending time with them most of them did not seem familiar with uh, the situation at Hinoko so this was uh, a pretty eye-opening experience for them I think they gave me this really nice uh, t-shirt, a Japanese American Students Union t-shirt. You see? You see? That's really nice. Oh, so this is actually the back, but then on the front, there's this. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking t-shirt. And then uh, they also gave me this, this mug, a Yale University glass mug. <laughs> And they gave me a, a physical copy of uh, their uh, student, their school uh, magazine, the Yale Globalist, which uh, has a, a copy of uh, the article that uh, they wrote about me. So I'm very thankful for the omiyage for the gifts. Um, I really enjoyed speaking uh, with the students up there. And I hope we can uh, stay in touch. So thank you very much to Yale University, uh, to the um, uh, Japanese American Student Union 
for inviting me to speak. I'm very honored to have had that opportunity. And also thank you to uh, everyone in Washington, D.C. who uh, met with my team and I. Uh, we, thank you for your time. So the work portion of the trip went very well. But now for the part that didn't go so well, the, the travel portion. <laughs> oh man, traveling on the East Coast was rough. So I had to go from Washington, D.C. up to New Haven, Connecticut, where Yale University is located, right? And apparently New Haven's a pretty small town. Their, their airport is very small. There's only one airlines that, go, that goes to New Haven. That's American Airlines. They're the only airlines that goes there. And man, it was a bad trip. First of all, my flight leaving Washington D.C. Uh, it was I was supposed to go from D.C. to Philly with a, a layover at Philly and from Philly to New Haven. Okay, but my flight from D.C. was delayed by eleven hours. Yeah, by eleven hours, and it wasn't due to weather. It was due to airline maintenance. And I, I told I told American Airlines, look, I'm speaking at Yale University at 6 p.m. tonight. I got to be there on time. And so um, they got me on a different flight, a flight uh, to White Plains, New York. And they said, I, well, first of all, I had no idea where White Plains, New York was. I've never heard of it before in my life. And they said, oh, it's it's 45 minutes, a 45 minute drive from New Haven. No, no problem. Okay, so I finally land in White Plains, New York, and I, I, I get a taxi to take me to uh, New Haven. And I'm like, oh, it's a 45 minute drive, right? They're like, no, it's an hour and a half drive <laughs> because of traffic. Oh, so, so hour and a half. I got sick. I got, I don't know what happened, but I got real sick. I got, uh, yeah. I don't think you guys want to know <laughs> the details about that, but yeah, I was not feeling well uh, on that flight and on that taxi ride. Um, and then it turns out that American Airlines lost my bags. They lost my bags at uh, White Plains. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I, I finally got to New Haven and uh, I'm feeling lousy physically, but uh, you know, I, I start to feel better in time for the, the speech at Yale, so that went fine. Uh, I got my bags back, which is a weird story, but uh, yeah, I got my bags back in time to speak at Yale, which is good because I gave people at Yale, uh, you know, a copy of, of, you know, some Okinawan history information. And then, <clears throat> but leaving Yale the next day, um, on my way back to Hawaii. Um, well, first of all, my flights were delayed. All of my connecting flights on American Airlines were delayed. All of them. Every single one. Not due to weather. <laughs> I don't know. They were just late. I don't know why they were all late, but every single one was late. The airplanes were really old and kind of scary. Why would they use such old airplanes? They look... I don't know how old these airplanes were, but they were not nice looking. They really weren't. It was they were so small and cramped. I couldn't even stand up fully straight in the inside the airplane. I had to like kind of hunch over because I'm too tall and my head was bumping the the roof of the airplane. And it, I mean it was it was a rough it was rough. Uh the turbulence was was bad. Um and uh and then it turns out they lost my luggage again. So my luggage didn't make it back to Hawaii with me. It, it arrived a couple days later. Yeah. They lost my baggage twice in a single trip. How does that happen? I have no idea. Uh, uh, but, I mean, they did it. <laughs> so that, that was American Airlines. My, my experience with American Airlines, it was, that was bad. It was, it was bad. So anyway, that's my trip to the East Coast uh, this past time to Washington, D.C. and to Yale University. Uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, you know, the work part was great. Really enjoyed that. 
uh, the travel part was not so great, but uh, anyway, so a lot of, I got I got a lot of messages from people. Um, there seems to be some confusion. People thought I was going to New York. Uh, no, I was I was I was not scheduled to go to New York. No, it was just Washington D.C. and and Yale University. Um, yeah, so I'm not sh sure why there was uh, there were so many people thinking I was going to New York. Um, but you know maybe next time. Uh, there, there's was this past week was the United Nations Permanent Forum of Indigenous Peoples. Um, initially, I wanted to go to that, but I decided it's just too much. Like going to Washington D.C. and Yale and New York, that's that's just too much. I I can only do so much, you know what I mean? So I figure I'm just gonna stick with Washington D.C. and Yale, especially since I know that other Uchinanchu, other Okinawans, were going to, um, to the the UN to New York, uh, Shinako Oyakawa, uh, and others were going, and so I figure, oh, they they got it, they got this under control, they they're gonna do a good job, and uh, so I'm not worried about that. So as long as we have some type of Okinawan representation at uh, the United Nations Permanent Forum of Indigenous Peoples, I think that's great. That's enough. Um, so you know, uh, teamwork. Yes, that's great. So anyway, thank you all for your support. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of our videos. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.